Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you a very easy way to make green cabbage. And all you need are a few simple ingredients. You need your cabbage, which you can cut up the way you like. You need some butter. Now I'm using broth, but you can use water or whatever you like. Some diced pimentos, those are optional of course. And then the seasoning blend. Now I'm recommending that you try this Italian seasoning mixed with green seasoning, but of course, as always, use whatever you like. All right, while you're getting your cabbage prepared, make sure you preheat your oven to 375. And what I wanted to share about the cabbage is keep in mind that the bigger you cut your cabbage, the longer it will take to cook. And the smaller you cut it, it of course won't take as long. So the cooking times are going to vary depending on what size you want your cabbage, okay? So get your baking dish and put your cabbage into your baking dish. Now, once you have it in your dish, go ahead and add in the rest of your ingredients. It's literally that easy. I'm telling you, if you don't feel like standing at the stove, you can definitely always just pop your cabbage into the oven. We can actually cook a lot of things in the oven that we don't. Um, but sometimes it's just difficult to get that cabbage right on top of the stove as well. Um, I've heard that complaint as well from people. So just put everything in there. There's not a certain way you have to put it. It's going to bake together, I promise you, so you don't have to worry about it. And last but not least, I'm going to add in some butter. Now, I like a little extra butter. Just know it's going to give it flavor and it's going to help to moisturize it. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more butter. <laughs> and then we're going to cover it with some foil. And that's all you have to do, okay? That's literally all you have to do. And as far as how much broth, because I know that'll probably be a question, you actually need to come up about halfway uh, halfway uh, to the pan now, or about three-fourths, and I'm going to tell you why. What's going to happen is, I mean, not three-fourths, I'm sorry, halfway or a little less than halfway, because your cabbage is going to produce its own juices. So you don't want to do too much or it could overflow, okay? So I'm going to cover mine, put it in the oven, and when we come back, I'll show you the finished product and I'll let you know exactly how long I cook mine for, though the cooking time will vary for you. Okay, the cabbage is done. I did cook mine for two hours. After the first hour, I did check it because normally I shred my cabbage, okay? When you shred it, it usually only takes about really an hour. But after that hour, remember what I said that depending on how you cut your cabbage will determine how long you know you'll need to cook it for so after an hour um, I stirred it and you know just covered it back up and continued to cook it so now it's more of what I want mine to be now depending on how you like your cabbage you would just uh, check it you know um, if you cut it big like this you just definitely want to check it after the next hour and then every uh, 15 minutes or so now if it's not to your desired tenderness then you just need to continue to cook it okay so this is how I like my cabbage. I like mine al dente. I do not like mushy. So I just wanted to show you uh, this easy oven baked cabbage. So simple and it's easy just to cut it up, put it on in the oven and then you can go and do whatever you need to do. Set a timer and come back and it's done, okay? So make sure you give it a try. I'm definitely about to try mine. Get me a little plate, honey. Mm -hmm. I love me some cabbage. I've been having a taste for cabbage and it was just right on time. Right on time. Let me see y'all can see him. Put me a little hot sauce on it. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's good. Mm. Oh, you all, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, honey. Yes. Mmm, mmm, mm, 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 -mm. It's a little more cooked than I would like it to be because I really do like mine crunchy, but just cook it to the way you like it. Add whatever flavors you want, seasonings. Mmm, mmm, that is good. Definitely try the chicken broth if you haven't before. And let me know what you think. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. And you have a wonderful, blessed day.